to learn life this is an initiative taken by senior advocate of supreme court of india here he shares the years of experience and discusses on the legal issue in this episode number 34 he will talk about new freebies to doctor on this my first question is chief justice of india has created such a buzz against freebies in elections have freebies been prohibited in areas other than election yes yeah, so there's a very interesting case in an order passed by on passed by the supreme court on 22nd february 2022 in special petition civil number 23 uh, 207 of 2019 called apex laboratory private limited versus deputy commissioner of income tax the supreme court has indeed held that pharmaceutical companies cannot give freebies to doctors because it's clearly prohibited by law so can you tell uh, our viewers more about this case uh, it's a very well considered judgment by the bench consisting of justices u u lalit and s ravindra bhat in recent times i think this is one of the best judgments i have come across what has happened in this particular case that in income tax proceedings the deputy commissioner of income tax disallowed uh in terms of explanation 1 to section 37 1 of the income tax act 1961 the claim of rupees 4 crores 72 lakhs 91159 incurred by the company towards gifting hospitality conference fee gold coins lcd tvs fridges laptops etc to medical practitioners for creating awareness about one of its uh, recently introduced health supplement called zincovit uh, so it, the company you know carried an appeal to the income tax commissioner of income tax who is the appellate authority and the com- commissioner of income tax uh, held that the ss company became disentitled to claim the deduction under explanation to explanation 1 to uh, section 371 of the income tax act that is because of a circular issued by the central board of direct taxation dated 1st august 2012 uh, that uh, circular clarified that freebies given by the pharmaceutical and allied industries to doctors by way of incentives is illegal and prohibited by law within the meaning of uh, that explanation 1 to section 371 of the income tax act 1961 and therefore uh, he did not uh, he he did not permiss he did not find it permissible from assessment year 2010-11 so that is the year for which he allowed, disallowed the, those uh, uh, freebies that circular Uh, cited the notification of indian medical council professional conduct etiquette and ethics regulations with effect from 14th of december 2009 so those regulations prohibited the medical practitioners from accepting any gifts hospitality travel facility cash or other incentives and uh, for violation of those regulations the medical practitioners could be imposed penalty up to 5000 rupees or they could face you know censure or even removal from the medical uh, register so these were the consequences which would ensue if they accept you know those gifts from uh, the pharma companies so now uh, there was further appeal 
uh, to income tax appellate tribunal and high court both of them you know upheld the view of the commissioner of income tax all were very well considered judgments so the apex laboratory appealed to supreme court by filing specially petition and that is how the supreme court was seized of the matter now in the supreme court uh, it was contended on behalf of the pharma company that regulations of medical council of india are not binding on the pharmaceutical companies what they argued is that those are binding for doctors but uh, a pharmaceutical company is not uh, bound by those regulations so this contention did not find favor with the supreme court in a very erudite order the supreme court citing the provisions of the indian medical council act the contract act the indian penal code and various judgments and authorities dismissed the appeal it's a very very erudite judgment as i said and considered every aspect of the matter the court reasoned that since the uh, the law prohibited the uh, giving of such freebies by the pharma companies to the doctors so it, it is uh, illegal and no court can ever uphold you know illegality no matter whether it is pharma pharma company or anyone else the law prohibits so everyone uh, it applies across the board so i think it's a very very interesting case yes sir it was interesting case you told all about the facts related to it and thank you sir hope we will look after such videos in future mm -hmm.